Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Judicious Fire. I'm on the iOS server. I'm going to be doing a three-part series back-to-back, uh, -to -back, and it's going to be focused on how to gain might. How to gain might most quickly, how to gain it most effectively in terms of your resource expenditure. I'm going to be doing this first one and calling it the basics. The next video is going to be more of an intermediate video, and the last video will deal with uh, some of the more advanced uh, elements of might gaining, uh, as well as a discussion about a few things in the game that have changed that will impact and continue to impact might gaining as far as Castle Clash players are concerned. This is our uh, basics video. There are so many ways to gain might in this game. Every time I uh, upgrade a building, every time I put on a new skin, every time I bring up a, a level, hero level, a skill level, a destiny level, an inscription level, all of them are going to result in a gain of might. The number one way to gain might in this game is through opening a new hero. Nothing in this game will come close to the might gain, might boost that one gets when opening a brand new hero. Uh, and I see this. I see that uh, as a new hero is released in the game, you know, maybe that particular day I might get uh, somewhere around 10,000 more might by the time the entire upgrading process is complete. That is because a new hero has been added to my altar. Uh, right now in Castle Clash, as of the recording date of this video, we have 103 spaces available in our altar. I've gotten to a point where I have fully maxed out every hero in the game. Uh, with the exception of skins, when you place skins on a hero, uh, the hero's position in the altar changes. Uh, Putting that aside, you are seeing the heroes basically in release date. Uh, that's what happens when you eventually max them all out to the exact same max level. Uh, they've all shifted over to the left. We begin with our very first one, Paladin, uh, go all the way down to the end of the altar, and we would be at our most recent hero, Valen. The only thing that changes that order would be the skins that are uh, given to our heroes. Uh, if it were me and I was after more might, I would focus in on filling my 103 slots in the altar with new heroes. The basics of might gaining. Let's take a look at the three heroes that I have in front of me. Question is, I know I want to fill my altar with heroes to gain might, but which heroes should I fill my altar with? I'm going to take a look at these three heroes. Let's go to a hero base. Let's go to uh, Hero's Altar. Uh, we'll go to Attribute Details. Very good. At the bottom of the uh, screen, uh, we see a boot. That boot represents the movement speed of our hero. The higher that number, the faster our hero moves across the board. Lower the number, the slower our hero is. IGG Castle Clash, for whatever reason, decided to base might on the movement speed of our heroes. Ninja has a movement speed of 310. Let me back out, go in, go to Paladin. Paladin has a movement speed of 195. Paladin is slow like a, like a big truck. Whereas Ninja is fast like a race car. IGG Castle Clash based our might on movement speed. By taking this Paladin to full max level upgrade, and I'm making this number up just to make the point. I, I have the figures in front of me, but I'm not going to reference them at this point. It's a big idea. By maxing out Paladin, let's say I gained... 8,000 might. That is based off of his movement speed. By 
maxing out Ninja, who has a 310 movement speed, I've probably gained somewhere around 8,800 might. And I'm just using this as a way of illustrating that more might is given to the faster heroes. So if your only intention is to create heroes simply for might gain, then you want to choose the heroes that are fastest in this game. You will get the most bang for your resource buck. You will get the biggest might gain. In the end, the cumulative process will have cost you fewer resources. Certainly knowing these things now rather than as you're doing them. Ninja is our uh, approximately third fastest hero in the game. Um, so he will give you the third highest might. Ninja is available to all. He is uh, purchasable with shards uh, through the shard method. If you've got 60 uh, heroes in your altar and you wanted to, to get yourself an army of ninjas simply for might gain, uh, you could just use shards uh, and accomplish this very, very quickly. Let's move on to our next hero. Next hero is Skull Knight. Skull Knight has a movement speed of 400. Skull Knight is tied as number one or tie number two as the fastest hero in the game. Whereas with Pally, I might have gotten, for Ill uh, illustrative purposes only, 8,000 might by maxing him out. With Ninja, I got 8,800 might. Skull Knight might give me 9,200. So I'm getting 1,200 extra might by doing the same thing that I would have done to Paladin. Uh, if you want to look at it this way, if I did, uh, using these uh, made-up figures, if I did five or six Skull Knights, I've now gotten myself uh, an extra Paladin, had I gone that way. So, huge, huge boost. Uh, last, and tied with Skull Knight for movement speed, is going to be Ronin. And Ronin is, like Skull Knight, worth the most uh, amount of might. Uh, in this case, 9,200 to the Pallies, 800, or to the Ninjas, uh, 8,800. Uh, so when it comes to which hero to use as a might gainer, go with the fastest hero you can. And currently, that is Ronin and, uh, and Skull Knight. Uh, in conclusion to this basics video, uh, Higher might in this game it wasn't always this way. There was a time that people intentionally tried to trim might in order to be uh, more efficient with their guild war scoring, to take on lower might opponents, to ensure 100% victories. Uh, those times are long gone. Uh, higher might in this game will get you higher rewards throughout the entire game. In nearly every game mode that you play, there is a might tie-in or a might reward of some kind. You go to the uh, arena, and uh, arenas... Where are you? Arenas... This is not the screen I want. Here we go. I understand now. Okay, bingo. Here, This is the, the title screen. Title screen. Uh, IGG Castle Clash never went past 600. So, uh, currently, Ascendant 2. It's giving me 175% boost in the arena in attack and HP. It's giving me an, a quarry boost. You know, uh, certainly. Uh, it's giving me uh, these rewards. If I go to the quest board as I complete quest boards, and I saw this as my mic grew, um, you know, I might have, have gotten four uh, purple books and then you know a month later I I'm a little bit uh, higher in might now I'm getting six purple books and you know it starts to continue and continue over a series of years uh, however long you've been playing the game and those things really start to add up uh, Guild Wars scoring very much based on that as well I am if I'm scoring 13,500 uh, by taking out the top five bases uh, and others are doing so at a third of my might. But they're only going to get, you know, 6,000, 7,000 for taking out those same five bases. 
So it's a, a, a big difference. Uh, so think about which uh, heroes you want to uh, take up. Again, Ninja is free, uh, essentially, you know, uh, a week's worth of shards, two, two three days worth of shards. Uh, the others you will have to roll, but I would go between Skull Knight and Ronin and hopefully uh, be able to get the might that you are uh, seeking. I'm going to catch you on the next video. It's going to be an intermediate video. We'll take... Uh, the assumption that we're using one of these three heroes and we're going to do a couple of things with these heroes in order to get the biggest might bang for our resource buck all right thanks everybody i'll check you on the next video bye bye